SpongeBob SquarePants is obviously a very popular show, alongside being a very memorable one. But what makes this classic cartoon so memorable? Is it the wacky cast of characters or hundreds of hilarious episodes? Definitely both of those things are important. But what about the locations present in the show? What would the show be without Bikini Bottom and its many iconic locations? Probably not as good or as memorable. So today, we're going to be looking at 10 iconic locations present in Bikini Bottom. Keep in mind that there are so many locations that I would love to put on this list, but this list would go on forever. So if there's a favourite location of yours that didn't make it onto this list, let me know in the comments. And if you want to enter our monthly shoutout giveaway, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Let's start off this list with Jellyfish Fields. This location made its debut in the episode Tea at the Tree Dome, and has been featured in a total of 56 episodes. The number of episodes Jellyfish Fields has been featured in almost feels too small for how iconic of a location it is. It's the place where SpongeBob and Patrick spend their time jellyfishing, and has a number of locations within itself, like Brain Coral Fields, Jellyfish Lake, Sponge Henge, amongst a few others. Jellyfish Fields has also been featured in quite a few SpongeBob video games, most notably Battle for Bikini Bottom. Our next location on this list is Kelp Forest. Kelp Forest first appeared in the Season 3 episode Club Spongebob, but has made some other notable appearances since, including To Save a Squirrel, Eek an Urchin, and Cave Dwelling Sponge. Kelp Forest is made up of, you guessed it, kelp, and is often a place where characters become lost. The forest has also appeared in a few Spongebob video games like Battle for Bikini Bottom, Atlantis Square Pantis, and the Game Boy Advanced version of Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. How could we make a list about iconic Spongebob locations and not talk about the Krusty Krab? Bikini Bottom's favourite fast food joint is probably one of the most recognisable cartoon locations of all time. Home of the famous Krabby Patty and the workplace of Spongebob, Squidward and Mr. Krabs, the Krusty Krab made its debut in the show's pilot, Help Wanted, and has appeared in over 300 episodes of the show, as well as all three movies. We couldn't talk about the Krusty Krab without talking about the restaurant opposite, the Chum Bucket. This restaurant may be in a good location for business considering the fact it's situated opposite the most famous restaurant in Bikini Bottom, but its disgusting food, depressing interior, and hot-headed owner make for an incredibly unappealing place to eat. The restaurant is also the home of the owner Plankton and his computer wife Karen, and has been the setting for many of Plankton's twisted schemes, all of which have failed absolutely miserably. Poor Plankton. Goo Lagoon has been the setting for many great episodes. Ripped Pants, Bubble Buddy, and No Weenies Allowed are just a few of the episodes that have taken place in Goo Lagoon. It is quite a confusing location though, as how can a beach exist under the sea? Well, there's kind of an explanation for this. Goo Lagoon is actually a brine pool. What is a brine pool? Well, I'm not a marine biologist or anything, but it's pretty much just water underwater. Regardless of whether Goo Lagoon is a scientifically accurate location though, it's still a pretty iconic one and deserves a place on this list. The most iconic location in the series is undoubtedly Conch Street, the home of Spongebob, Squidward, Patrick, and of course Gary. I will go on record saying that this is probably the most recognisable cartoon location of all time now. Even if you don't watch Spongebob, you're definitely familiar with the line, who lives in a pineapple under the sea. And if you're not, you're probably living under Patrick's rock. Mrs. Puff's boating school may look like a calm and collected place, but with Spongebob around it certainly isn't. Spongebob is not a very good driver, and we've seen him and Mrs. Puff get into accident after accident at this boating school. This location made its debut in the episode Boating School, and has appeared in a total of 37 episodes. The boating school has also appeared in video games, comics, and even books. My personal favourite episode that takes place in Mrs. Puff's boating school is the episode New Student Starfish. What about yours? Bikini Bottom has restaurants, beaches, and even driving schools. But where do the residents of Bikini Bottom get all their essentials? 
Well, that's what Bargain Mart is for. Bargain Mart has only appeared in about 20 episodes since its debut in the show's pilot Help Wanted, and is never really the main setting for any episodes. But it has been the setting for some great scenes, and has been the home of some iconic products like Kelpo Cereal, the Hydrodynamic Spatula, Seahorse Radish, and the Plan Your Own Party Kit. Our last location for this list is Sandy's Tree Dome. I don't know about you guys, but I always wanted to live here when I was younger. This technologically advanced dome is the home of Sandy Cheeks, and it made its debut in the episode Tea at the Tree Dome. What's interesting about it is that the inside replicates life on land, to the point where it even replicates seasons. The dome has appeared in over 70 episodes, and has been the setting for some classic episodes like Tea at the Tree Dome, Wormy, Pre-Hibernation Week, and Survival of the Idiots, my personal favourite. 